Hey guys, quick video today. Uh, I noticed a lot of people were using different listing apps. Um, I'm going to tell you why I use Inventory Lab, okay? Uh, you know, you do have Scan Lister, which is very fast for books. I didn't find much success with it on CDs due to the fact that a lot of the CDs that I do, and I do a lot of CDs, a lot of the CDs wouldn't scan on Scan Lister. They would, uh, even if you type the name in, you still had a hard time finding the CD. Uh, yeah, where scan lister works fine with books. I mean, but there's a lot of steps involved, and and the reason I use Inventory Lab is because it's much faster. You, you know, even though it, it it's faster, but yet you, I mean, you yeah, yes, with scan lister and a seller list and all these things, you can scan a lot faster, but you still got to go back and put the label on. You know, and that's where your time uh, gets eaten up a little bit when you have to go back and put the labels on. Basically, you're having to touch each item you know, two to three times. Basically, you know, you, you touch the item once to scan it, then you put it in its pile, and then you got to go back and grab the item again, put a label on it, keep it in a pile, then you got to grab the item again and put it in a box. Three steps. With Inventory Lab, I do one time. Um, yeah, I, I mean, really, really, I mean, honestly, the reason I do, uh, yes, scan, I mean, yes, the Inventory Lab is $50 a month. It does everything, though. It's expenses, accounting, I am going to link it with Caleb Roth's tracking sheet. His, his tracking sheet is amazing. And if you want to dial down your numbers completely to where you know exactly what rank sells good, how fast your product is moving and things like that. I know Caleb Roth's tracking sheet works with uh, all of them. It works with inventory. It works with scan. It works with a seller. It works with basically all three of the big listing programs. Um, but yeah, when I use an inventory lab like it, like right now, uh, you know, I just bought another 500 CDs. I know nothing about these CDs. So what I do is I use uh, Inventory Labs, you know, the Research Scout app. And I, I real fast, I just scan real fast. It takes me about a second or two to, to know whether this CD is worth anything. Uh, try doing that with ScanLister. It's not going to give you any right. It's not going to give you any numbers. Uh, a seller list, it'll do the same thing, but it, it takes a, lot, a little bit longer, you know. I mean, you'll, you'll be able to scan it and see the, you know, you won't be able to see the price, I don't think. I, don't, I can't remember. I mean, it'll show the item, but it's not going to show you a price or anything of exactly what's going on. I did a video on this before where I, I you know, how fast I can see if I sell this item at four ninety five if I'm going to make any profit. Uh, with the listing apps, you pay, my, my philosophy, and this is just totally my philosophy, guys, you pay for what you get. Um, yes, it is forty nine ninety five a month. I, I get no affiliation, no money from inventory labs. I've used them since I started, uh, and I've always used them. Uh, basically, like I said, you, you know, you, once you put your, your product in, once you scan it when you're listing it, you hit that submit button, the, the label comes out in maybe three seconds, two seconds, you're completely done with this item. If you're using live batch, if you're using the live mode, you automatically put it in the box that goes in, and, and everything is done. I mean, everything is done. You don't have to sit here, like with ScanLister or a seller. you know, you have all your stuff that you just scanned in, okay? That's fine and dandy. You scanned it all in, okay? Now you have to go over to Amazon Central. you got to convert to fulfillment. Then you got to go in and use list label ship to print your labels, so all your labels come out in a long string of labels, okay? Then you got to go back and flip these CDs over and put the label on every one of them, and I guarantee you, you're going to have some that are not in order. You're going to have some where the orders are not in right. You're going to have to hunt for that damn, I hate to say it, damn CD or book. And it, and it pisses me off when I had to do it. I want to make my system simple so when I outsource it to other people, it, it just goes like clockwork. I, have not, I, I, have, I don't want them to have to ask me any questions about how it works. That's why um, Inventory Lab is... It, inventory Lab works for me, okay, guys? If you guys don't want to pay $50 a month, you know, go to... Uh, Go to ScanLister and pay $19.95 or go to, uh, you know, ASL or less and do $19.95. You're still going to have to pay either way. You're still going to have to pay, you know, if you want to use your Dymo, you're still going to have to pay $5 for list label ship every month for your Dymo, your, your Dymo list label ship app. So it's, you're, still, you're still at $25, you know. So, I mean, you know, and I'm paying $50 for this. And, I, you know, I, 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 I uh, put in my mileage every day on Inventory Lab to put in my, my expense. You know, I, I grab my receipts. I use a... Neato scan and I scan my scanners, my receipts into a scanner, and I toss the receipts, you know, run them through a shredder, and then everything is on my computer. So I don't have to hunt for anything at the end of the year. My CPA ever quarterly, he doesn't have to touch anything. He just looks at all my numbers. I send him a couple files over, and everything's done. But um, 
with in between. Now, now, if you're a small person and you don't do a lot of numbers, and you have, you know, say you're sending a hundred items a month or maybe two hundred items a month, you can get by with scan list or probably you can get by with uh, a seller list. They're very good, but they're not gonna they're not gonna help you if you buy bulk buys because there's no way to, to look at the product the price of the product without going through multiple multiple steps to find the price. I mean. Um, like I said, when I'm doing, you know, I just bought 500 CDs and I got another 900 books I'm buying in a Gaylord tomorrow. The Gaylord tomorrow, I, ha I know nothing about the books. So what I'm going to do is basically um, tomorrow I'll bring them in. And the way I do those is probably um, when there's so many books, I leave them in the garage. And I take my scan fob down there and my FBA scan and I just scan as I go. Put, put the crap in one trash box and I put the other ones in the boxes to bring up, okay? I really don't use inventory lab on those because, you know, I usually scan them in the garage because they're, uh, you know, I'm on a third floor apartment, so you don't want to be up and down, up and down, up and down with, you know, 15 boxes of books. So, but with, with the CDs and, you know, basically even if you have, you know, books and you, you know, you brought some up and you're like, um, you want to check the prices to make sure that before you even list them, because you don't want to, you don't want to set, you don't want to do your books where you, uh, you know, th th this is, this is when, you have not, you know, this is when you buy books at like a garage sale on a state sale and you haven't scanned them, okay? This is basically when you don't scan and, you know, because when you scan out in public, you already know that what you're buying is good, so you don't really need to, to do the scouting app to figure out whether the product's good or not. You already know whether it's going to, you know, your parameters are what you want to buy it for. But when I'm buying so many and I don't, you know, I bought, you know, what, 500 CDs for, uh, 80 bucks or $100, you know, $80, $100 or something for five, you know, I paid 30 cents a piece basically um, for 500 CDs. And um, so basically, uh, no, today, today I bought, I'm sorry, today I bought eight bags. So eight bags, I bought 450 or 400 or whatever, whatever, I don't know, you know, you know what it is. I bought uh, eight bags, there's 50 in a bag, so 400 CDs. And I paid a little, almost about $100. But this one place, they, they collect tax, they won't let me use my tax exempt thing, so I have to pay them like $14 in tax. But uh, but but like on those, you, you know, you, you I have no idea what they are. So the first thing I do is I just take them out of the bag, go to my inventory lab scout, scan it real quick, and it'll say, okay, this CD is going, you know, the lowest, very good or like new, you know, eight dollars on Amazon. That, that's all I need to know. And it takes me roughly about two seconds to figure that out because it, all the numbers show up. I did a video, guys. All the numbers show up here. Now now say you're doing this with ScanLister. ScanLister is just a listing app. It's not going to give you any numbers. No number now. Now, if you want to go over and click to the Amazon button, it'll bring it up. Then you got to go over and hit Prime. Then you got to scroll down. It's it's a lot of steps that you don't need to take for a whole what twenty dollar difference a month for what you're paying for. And like I said, I have no affiliation with Inventory Lab. I have nothing to do with them. I don't know anybody over there. I don't. I'm just telling you what works for me, guys. Okay. So I know a lot of people. Um, a seller list has really got a lot going on right now. Uh, the thing is, I like to print my labels as I go. And I'm not. I'm never ever. I know some people that tout uh, systems. I have a good system. I mean, I know people that say, "Hell, well, let Amazon label your label your stuff." Twenty cents an item. That's asinine, guys. Asinine. I mean, twenty cents an item. Say you're sending a thousand items. That's two hundred bucks for one thousand item. I send that in every week. So I mean, you know, if I did, if I would, if I want to save an hour, you know, and not label anything, just put it in a box. I mean, they would, you know, they'd be getting a thousand dollars a month just in labeling services from me. So, I mean, I'm just giving you guys my opinion. Take it for what it's worth. Say, hey, hey, James is full of crap. Or say, hey, that's, you know, he's got a good point. It's entirely up to you how you interpret my information, guys. I'm not here to sell you anything, okay? I'm just telling you what I've been seeing lately and what works for me, okay? Inventory Labs works for me. Like I said, I'll do a test. I'll do, a, I'll set a, I'll do a, an Inventory Lab thing when I get some CDs done today. And I'm going to show you how fast it takes me to do 20 CDs labels and everything in the box you're going to be amazed it won't take me less than more than five minutes to do 20 of them you know and, and that's like i said that's scanned labeled and in the box they go in so basically when that box gets full i close the batch print my labels and i'm done no there's no you know no scanning this pod then then i gotta print the labels out then i gotta find the labels then i gotta flip over each cd look at the cd again okay is this the right one yep okay put the label on that one and then you got to go ahead, and then you got to finish your, you know, finish your labels. Then you got to print your batches, and then it will separate the, you know, a lot of times you have separate, separate shipments, and you got to do that again. I don't, I do not like touching an item three or four times. I like to touch it one time.
two times actually. Once when I first get it in to repair it and fix it, and one time to, to label and put it in the box it goes in. I like to touch it maybe two times at the most. I don't want to touch it three, four, five times. That's just stupid. So um, my opinion, guys, take it for what it's worth. Uh, I'm not, like I said, this is, uh, oh, sorry, my camera's, I keep looking down here. I don't know why my camera's up there. But um, take it for what it's worth, guys. As It's just my opinion, why I use IL. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, it makes it easy for me. Um, you know, like I said, I can do four or 500 items a day easy with inventory labs, you know, I mean, you can, literally, I can time the Dymo once I'm going, it literally takes about three seconds to print the label. So basically, eat up each item, once I scan it, hit submit, the label comes out, maybe totally, maybe eight seconds for each one, maybe eight seconds, you know, and that's completely done. Like I said, in the box, going out the door. Okay, sorry guys, I just wanted to, I saw, I saw a bunch of stuff and I just wanted to post that, okay? You guys have a good day.